Okay. <clears throat> Today I want to show you how to make a, a snack bar using a material, material design in Angular. Um, the thing is that in order to make a snack bar, see if I click, for the example as you see here, um, usually a snack bar is just a a small little thing with uh, an action button and a text uh, but they give you an option if you look at it somewhere they give you an option to make a um, to use another component in angular to, sh to show a snack bar so the content of the snack bar will be a company if i go to the api <coughs> you'll see that uh, snack bar has the possibility to show component. So this is a this is a, a, a method that can be used with the snack bar um, element in Angular. Uh, the problem is that when you go over the site, this is a material Angular I/O. There's nowhere where they explain you how to do this and give you a clear example. And I looked over the internet and I couldn't find it. I put a question in the Stack Overflow, and um, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing came out. No one answered. But finally, I figured out. So I would like to take the time to show it to you. So first of all, <clears throat> you're going to go to a module. This is, by the way, uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, I'm going to go to app module ts and you have to import the, the snack bar um, from angular that's what you see here and then you put it in the modules and here i'm going to use it in the module posture so in the module posture so there's like apps module whatever <clears throat> there is um, there is uh, in the in the code in the main screen there is a button somewhere that I put yeah evil <clears throat> so here we see button. And the event of this button is uh, Hebrew event. So let's go to the uh, touch script. And then let's find it. It's right here. So in the Hebrew event, I'm going to show the snack bar uh, this way, as it says in the uh, documentation down. Now here you'll see it. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give the name of the company that I want to open. The problem is that uh, the component here is component keyboard. Component, you see, I have another component here, and the name of the component is keyboard. So keyboard component. Uh, the problem is that I'm referencing, I'm referencing from this component to this component, which are both are in the same in the same project. If you want to say it this way. And I need to figure a way how to import it. So <clears throat> I've put here the import for the other component, um, which is uh, component. Yes, I think it's right here. Is it the name of the component? Component keyboard. Um, actually, it doesn't really work like this. You just have to put the name of the class. So here, I put the name of the class. And uh, here, uh, where was it? Here, I put the name of the class. And this is how I want. I'm from this directory. I want to up one directory, and I want in the, the directory here. And basically, anyways, when I put like <clears throat> my cursor here, I put two two points. Uh, slash and then I put the control space and it's going to give me whatever is in that directory so 
is able to know, let me show it to you, is able to know that there is a component there. See, look, control slash, uh, here it's keyboard, slash again, and then it shows me, and I could, I know that it's this one. So, um, this is how the import was done. The problem is <coughs> that this didn't work because me, I thought that since both are the same project and they're already imported in modules, so everybody knows about it, so it's not a problem. So yeah, posture, but I, that's how I did it I myself. But I have here posture, you have keyboard, keyboard, yeah, okay, so, so they're all here, anyways. So normally you you wouldn't have to do anything you it will do it by, by itself and then I, I got a weird message about ng something and it didn't work and so on. so finally I figured out uh, I can't find the site right now unfortunately I would love to show it here where someone very intelligent said the road actually <clears throat> to use uh, to have this any any component that that are that are, that are um, Done auto, that are that are instantiated automatically um, in the application should uh, you, you basically have to have had this to your uh, ng model with the name of the company and obviously you import it here too so this should work now the question that you're gonna ask yourself and I shouldn't say that because this is not something I, I look for it I just did this very fast. Um, how do you communicate the information between the two? So what I did is that I want to, but this is not the proper way to, uh, to communicate. There's like services and all that. Like you, this is not the, the part of the video. I'm just showing you this because since you're gonna get there, you wanna know something that works. You show it to the to, to, to the to the client, to the boss, or whatever it is. Um. So you you'll have something functional, but this. Part. Maybe I'll make another video for that. I just want to show you how I did, uh, how I tricked it a bit in order to communicate between the two. So um, up to now it was like professional work. This is a little bit hacking. <coughs> is that I did? Uh, I put. Um, I put um, uh, the component. See here is component posture, and I am the Hebrew keyboard now. So. In this component, I put reference to the other one, and in the other one where I open this one, <coughs> I uh, where is it? Where I open this one, I we'll just have it right here. So this is the first instruction, right? And this is the second instruction of the event. I just give the this point instance, and that's the name of the that's the name of the variable I just showed you. I call this. See the variable. Um, see the name of the variable. This is keyboard. And uh, there you go. So. <clears throat> This is the first instruction to open this number, and this is the second one to, to give a reference. Uh, obviously, here I have a text box. Okay, this is very bad design because I'm just trying to send something to the client, and I, I really hope you want to help you out. You know, you need to send something to the client first, and then you work on it to make it better and all that. Because if the client doesn't want it, there's no point to work uh, very hard on something is going to be rejected, anyways. So. Um, I basically offer directly to the other company the, without encapsulation the uh, uh, text box itself, <clears throat> which you see here. So there is a text box on the uh, on the on the interface. Um, the name is um, the name is the text box. So that's a that's a variable. So if I go here, I have. Uh, in the HTML of the keyboard, I have a click event and buttons. I show different buttons. If you see ng, ng4, 
So the NG4, I showed if I put the X amount of buttons. Um, and each button has this click event. So in the click event, what I do is that I go this type, uh, the variable I just showed you, text name, that's the thing that I showed you here. Okay. Um, native element, value, equal, whatever event, and value. <clears throat> this was actually very interesting because you, uh, I sent it to the log, the events, so I was able to know exactly what are the um, properties that I can see here. So, I can see the action. ng serve ng sorry, ng serve this, sorry about that, it'll take a while. Okay, so it's compiling the uh, code. <clears throat> Localhost 4000 localhost 4200 and here we have it. So let me just move this video window a bit. So when I click on make this bigger, move this here, we can make a bigger article. So when I click on uh, ebook. I have the snap bar that opens. And you'll see that the text box here will change whenever I click on any button here. And now obviously this will never close because I didn't program it to close. This is pretty easy. You can look at other videos or somewhere, but this is like, I just want you to show you that, that, that advanced feature of being able to just put another component into the snap bar. Um, but the easy stuff, whatever it is, you can find it somewhere else, right? Um, uh, I didn't put any timer on this, so it's not going to close. Um, I guess that's it. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And hopefully this will be interesting. We'll make other videos. If it's not interesting, then we'll not. Whatever it is.